Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. It's a quick video today and the artist I'm looking at today is Uninori and Uninori is a new artist commissioned in 2024 and has so far done six cards and I'm incredibly impressed by their work hoping that I'll do a video in a few years time showing you many more cards but at the moment I'm just going to do a video showing you the six they've done so far. So the first card they did was the Grottel, um, which came out in Wild Forces in January of 2024 and was in uh, Temporal Forces in English in March. And uh, Uninori's style is very much about um, strong pen lines, action and quite saturated rich colours. Um, but this is a very lovely card to start your Pokemon illustration journey on. So that's Grottle, and as with, this may be a coincidence, but four of the six cards that they've illustrated so far are stage one Pokemon out of a three-stage evolution line. Um, but that might just be a coincidence. We will see how, how things happen. So the second one that they did was this Tauros. Tauros? Tauros? Tauros. Um... And this is actually my favourite of their illustrations. This came out in the Battle Academy and released in Japan in March of 2024. The Battle Academy hasn't yet been released for 24 in uh, in English. There, it's supposedly coming this summer, but it's all a bit vague as to when it's going to be released. Um, but this is a beautiful, beautiful illustration. You know, this um, shading is very nice, and the drama of it, the placement of Tauros. Um, really great card. Yeah, that is my favourite of their illustrations so far. Um, the next card they did was the Kadabra, and the Kadabra came out in Mask of Change in Japan in April of 2024, and Twilight Masquerade in uh, May of 2024. And uh, I mean, they've got such a distinctive style. Really strong. And that is a great illustration. So that's Kadabra. The next card technically that came out was the Thwacky because it came out in was pre-releases which were ahead of the set release so it just scrapes in there as the next release card and currently this is an English only release but I'm sure well not sure but it's highly likely that at the end of the year there'll be a high class Japanese set with different artworks of things and this will get released in Japan then in probably this coming December or November whenever it comes out um, really lovely card I assume there's also a staff one so I'm gonna to have to track that down I guess or maybe not well no it probably will as a completist but um, yep very beautiful illustration on the thwacky Oh, put that one away. So that came out in uh, May of 24. Yes. And the next card that came out was a ja currently a Japanese exclusive, and it may stay a Japanese exclusive. I don't know um, whether these Koro Koro promos um, always get English releases, but we'll see. Uh, quite possibly, I guess. Either way, it's a very beautiful card. It's not a Pokemon I like, but the illustration is very strong. The background of the jungle is superb. Um, and it's always nice to have this uh, ident of the Korokori Ichiban. And that came out... Um, well, it's for the... It's going to be the July issue of Korokoro. But, of course, the July issue was released in the third week of May. So, it... Uh, Came out a few days after this was released in English. So, beautiful card. So that's the Zerud. And then the most recent card is this Fracture, which um, was in uh, Night Wanderer, which will be coming out in... Uh, it'll be coming out in The Shrouded Fable, which I think is at the beginning of August in English. Um, again, a great card and a, a Pokemon I'm very fond of. I think Fracture is a really well-designed Pokemon. It's got a great shiny as well. But it's a lovely, strong illustration showing off their style. Yeah, 
very impressed. Really, really look forward to seeing far more of their work in the coming years. So there you are. That is a look at the work of Uninori.